welcome to today's edition of me fixing broke stuff so you can see that I have everything laid out here to get ready to diagnose so some backstory the reason I'm doing this is because my truck has been down on power for quite some time and I started noticing a loud whistling noise um, sounding like sucking air uh, which led me to believe that there may have been a vacuum leak so what I've done is I've disconnected the intake hose at this point rather than here uh, downstream of the sensor because there's actually a um, film excuse me not a film but a filter here so I can't get my tool in there and what I'm going to use is this smoke pro but basically this thing is a mechanical inflation seal off tool that is absolutely awesome so you can uh, fill odd shaped diameter holes so that's that's what I'm gonna do here bear with me so I'm gonna come in here and get this guy lined up and then we're gonna pump it Well, it's just tight enough. You don't need, it doesn't have to seal off the world. Just tight enough to let you build a PSI or so inside of the system to uh, smoke test. So now that I have this sealed off, I'm going to connect the battery. And I already have the cable ran here. And quick tip, you know, Harbor Freight fender cover here. Always good to have. Keep from scratching your stuff up, even though my... Stuff is quite scratched up already. Ground first. Trying to do this one hand is fun. But. All right, so now my smoke pro is connected and I know that because it's got the little green light on. All right, and then next I'm going to connect my air source. So I've already got my air hose ran here. Connect this in the back. And there we go. So to start off, they recommend that you s turn the, vol the knob all the way to the right. And so when I want smoke, I push this button. Because I have it turned off, I'm not getting any smoke. I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit so you can see. smoke and turn it back down and I'm going to insert this into my hose so what I'm looking at is from this point other than the air filter um, and that short section I'm looking at the entire intake to see if we have any leaks so now I'm going to come back up here and look at our pressure gauge So we'll give it a second to start putting some smoke in the system. Now I cheated because I've already done this. So basically, you're looking around to see if you see any smoke. So I see smoke. So let's look at that a little closer. Oh, what do we have here? A missing intake manifold bolt. And you can see that it's pouring out of that hole. It's been years. I have no idea. I feel really stupid even saying that. I have tried to figure out what is causing this, looking at you know the entire intake and the filter and making sure that everything's good. I've done everything short of pull the, the intake, but you can see that it's, it's pouring out. Um, so what I'll do is I'm gonna seal that hole really quick and show you some other leaks that I found when I plugged it. Little tube here just to kind of plug the hole off. All right, so we put a little, little bit of a seal there. But 
as you can see that there's smoke coming out from other places as well um, the oil filler neck gasket and as well as the intake manifold gasket unfortunately but what I'm going to do is just put a bolt in that hole to see if I can fix it so the next thing I want to do is because I, I'm not extremely sure the design of the hole um, I have the bolt in hand now but I didn't before so I didn't know if there was any any bolt you know, down inside of the hole so I don't know if you can see in this video or not the hole all right this is what the bolt looks like so it's got a little sleeve on the bolt so I wanted to make sure one that my threads aren't busted and two that the sleeve isn't hung up inside so what I did is I've wanted one for a while my dad and I both we went and bought a war scope it's a uh, 80 bucks from Harbor Freight it's a Syntec digital inspection camera so what I'm gonna do and I'll try to show the video here I'm gonna turn this guy on and we're gonna go down here and check this out so you can see That it actually looks like there is a little bit of debris in that hole what it is I don't know so that was worth it just to know that there's something in the threads but it does look like the threads are in there which is a good thing all right, so let's get whatever that is out. And we'll go to the next step and try to put the bolt in. All right, so now you can see I have installed the missing bolt. Intake manifold mounting bolt. And the spec for step two, because there's a sequence that you're supposed to go in all the way around the manifold for all eight cylinders, the step two is 89 foot pounds and now I probably should have loosened all the bolts and retorqued all of them to spec uh, but I did not so I just went straight to 89 foot uh, inch pounds excuse me inch pounds to see where we're at because really the entire intake manifold needs to be pulled uh, to fix this correctly but I want to see how bad the intake manifold gasket is going to leak after installing this bulk and torquing it down so the next thing we're going to do is hook our smoke machine back up and give it a try. All right, so now I have my smoke tester back on. Let's see if we start producing any smoke. Remember, it takes a minute for it to, uh, because of the volume of this system. I'm going to fast forward in the video until we find some smoke. All right, we're starting to get some smoke. So I know one place looks like is the uh, oil filler net gasket, which I bought a new one because it looks like it's smoking as well it's a common failure part you can see all the oil around it it obviously is uh it's not for me spilling oil it's from it leaking out sloshing out so now that i had the big hole fixed i was curious to see if we were going to see some additional leaks in the system and it looks like it looks like the uh, intake manifold gasket is leaking but it's a very, very small leak. It 
but it's better than it was. Another video to come when I pull this entire intake off and redo the gasket, but I've been running that engine the way that it was with a hole in it for who knows how long, so 